do you really have to spend like $70 to get a good gaming mouse? Yeah, probably, but this video is still going to be really fun to make. Hey guys, what's up? It's Bravity and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today's video is very special because we're doing something a little bit different. As you saw in the intro, we are doing a bit of a tech review slash unboxing. Now I'm going to want to do a lot more of these as I get new gear for the stream and for making videos and just gaming in general. I love to get new equipment and I love to make videos about new equipment like I did with the Shure SM7B. So you can look forward to seeing a lot more unboxings of new equipment and reviews and all kinds of stuff on the channel as well as my regular content. So today's video is going to be kind of like that, but a little bit different because it's not equipment for me. It's not anything new for me. It's literally just for fun. And I'll show you what I mean if we switch to the brand new top-down camera angle. Um, this is the camera angle I'll be using for all the unboxings and reviews and that kind of stuff. I'm still striving to produce the top quality content for you guys. And that includes extra camera angles when we're doing stuff like this. So I hope you guys like that. Um, but here we have two unbelievably cheap gaming mice. Now these are both $7 and I picked them out off of Amazon. I combed through Amazon one night and just wanted to pick out some unbelievably cheap gaming mice that still looked very good, like really interesting. They weren't just like boring regular mice. They have um, programmable buttons and all kinds of stuff so that we can test out their software. But we're gonna be comparing it to the Logitech G502. This is the Hero Edition, the Logitech G502 Hero. So this is gonna be our baseline. It's about $70 usually is what they run, I believe. And then these are $7, so 10 times cheaper. Um, and we're gonna compare them. So they're probably gonna be trash, but we'll never know unless we unbox them and try them out and try to win some Fortnite games or at least get some kills. All right, guys, let's get into unboxing the two gaming mice. So something that stood out to me when I first opened the package with these is how similar the boxes are. Now, when I was combing through Amazon looking for the mouse um, that I wanted to pick out, I made sure to get two from completely different brands. We've got Zelotes. Zelotes, I don't, I don't know, Z-E-L-O-T-E-S is what it looks like, and then HC Man. And I wanted to get two different brands because I wanted to have completely different quality um, and test two different brands against each other to see who has the better mouse. But then they show up and they the boxes look identical with just different designs. They're the same size, black box. The sides look very similar with how the, the information is laid out. And they even have the same exact sticker. I don't know if you guys can see that. They both have a Zelotes sticker. So this one, the Zelotes brand, Z-E-L-O-T, I don't know how to say it. Zelotes is what I'm gonna say. And then the HC man also has a Zelotes sticker. So this is an imposter. This is this is Zelotes mouse with HC man's logo. I don't know what's going on here, but I, if I get the same mouse out of both of these, I'm gonna be pretty upset, but we're still gonna go on with the video. But we're gonna go ahead and start with the actual Zelotes brand and get this HC man imposter out of here, goddamn. So um, let's go ahead and cut. The sticker, I got a knife on my keys here. What do we got here? So the packaging is a little rough compared to something like the G502, which is honestly to be expected. Gaming mouse. Doesn't have a <laughs> doesn't have a model number, doesn't have a cool name like G502, it's just gaming mouse. Let's pull it out of this very cheap feeling sack, and my god. This thing looks strange, and holy god, it feels weird. I do not like these finger finger guides there. That is annoying, because don't tell me where to put my fingers. Um, but we do have a little peel here. Here we go. Ready? This is going to be satisfying. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a peel. I love those so much. But here we go. For the game is what it says. Zelotes Gaming Mouse. It's got the DPI listed on the mouse. The buttons labeled DPI here. Oh my god, that is a lot of stuff on the bottom. The buttons feel horrible. They feel spongy, and that is the loudest buttons ever. Do you hear that? The mouse clicks don't feel too good either. The scroll wheel doesn't feel bad at all, to be honest. That's actually very surprising. It feels somewhat quality. It's a little light, but like the plastic isn't terribly low quality. But let's go ahead and bring in the next mouse here and see if we literally just got the same exact one in a different package here. So let's go ahead and cut towards ourselves. You know that's the safest. Always cut towards yourself, kids. Just kidding. 
So let's go ahead and peel this bad guy out. So exact same packaging on the inside. Here's the bag from the last one. <laughs> So I have a feeling this is coming from the exact same place, um, exact same factory. Uh, we got, uh, woo, look at this. They got two, <gasps> and they've got a brand or a model number T60. This one's winning so far. This one is winning. It's also got a black braided cable. I prefer that. This one's definitely winning. And let's go ahead and check out the actual mouse here. So pull it out. Oh, and would you look at that? They're the same goddamn mouse. We do have another peel here. So let's. Uh, Oh yeah, they're the same goddamn mouse, guys. Are you kidding me? So I knew I got ones with three buttons, but okay, they're not the exact same. They're a little bit different, but look at that. The body is like almost identical. This one does not have the finger grooves. So this one's winning by a lot so far. Buttons feel much nicer on this one. This is definitely our winner and it's got the dope looking red fire switch here but that is it ladies and gentlemen those are the two gaming mouse that we bought from amazon both seven dollars this one looks a little cheesy i hate that it says for the game and has logos and branding and the dpi stuff all over it. this is much better i think i'm going to prefer this one but we're going to play with both of them and see if they change up um, their similarities in the actual playing field but i think i want to use this one first because i like it more so let's hook it up into the computer and see what we can't do with this bad boy all right so we just plugged this hc man mouse in and as you can see it does have rgb colors glowing here and the rgb is honestly a lot better than i thought it was going to be it's quite impressive how bright it is for how cheap it is but it just lost a lot of points and so did the other mouse because I just went through the instructions for getting the software for these mice to set up the programmable buttons, to change your DPI and all that, and you have to email the company and they will send you the download. I had to email the company <laughs> and they will now email me back a download link. Oh my God. All right, guys, so we've started up a creative map here and it's time to put this HC man mouse through its first paces. We've got a shotgun and a drum gun just for fun. And let's see if we can't do some building. So looks like looks like my key binds are working, wall and ramp right there. So let's try to do a bit of like a wall floor ramp brush here, so. So the floor didn't, or the ramp didn't place. Let's try that again and the ramp didn't place. So for some reason that ramp's not placing, hang on. Oh my God. So if I am holding down left click, so look at right here. If I hold down left click and switch to my wall, I can place the wall. But now if I keep holding down left click and try to switch to a ramp, it won't place. You can't turbo build. I have to lift off a left click, switch to ramp and then click. I can do that, but I can't turbo build. You see, I have to lift up off of left click every single time. So winning a game <laughs> definitely might be a little bit more difficult than I expected, but I now immediately want to unplug this mouse and plug in the Zalotes brand, because this is the HC man. I'm gonna plug in the Zalotes brand real quick and see if that bug where I can't turbo build ramps is still there. All right, so we've got the Zalotes mouse now plugged in, not looking as nice as the other one. We got the blue braided cable and it does not feel as good, but I got these two buttons bound just like the other one now. And this button here, right by the uh, left click is also for some reason bound to left click. So if I try to bind this, I lose my left click. So both of them are like that. Both of them need to contact the by email to get the software. So I do not have access to this button until I get the software. Still no sign of an email from either company. Um, the mouse does not feel as good in hand due to these finger grooves, but I'll see what I can do. Let's see if the turbo build issue is still here in this one. It appears so. What is happening? Why is the ramp building over there? Okay, things just feel straight. The turbo build isn't, it is not present. It is, it, or it is, it is working properly, but the ramp's building out there. Now I wouldn't think that's an issue with the mouse. Maybe it's something to do with the sensitivity I'm not used to, but I can do these all day on a G502 guys. This mouse is better. I apologize to Zalotes for saying that HC Man won because now, based on actually playing with them, Zalotes wins, but I'm still very confused on my ramp placement. Okay, so there we're getting it. 
but a second I go fast, it screws up. I'm going to need to break out the G502 to just prove to you guys that I can actually do these. Right, like that ramp placement. I've never have that, had that ramp placement happen out there, and I don't block myself with walls like that at all. All right, so as you guys can see, we've now got the G502 plugged in because I just want to show you guys that this kind of building, this kind of beak rush wall floor ramp is super simple. And I do it all day. I never have a misplace, not once. We can look down here. Look at that, a full beak rush, never one misplaced wall, never one misplaced ramp. And for some reason, that mouse is wanting to place the ramp out there. Like I can't even do that with this mouse. So it's definitely the mouse. Cause like, if I'm standing here, I cannot place a ramp out there. There we go. And that's how it's wanting to place. I'm telling you right now, guys, after being on those two mice and going back to the G502, this thing literally feels like gold. It is worth its weight in gold. I can already tell you without the rest of the video that it's worth the $70. That is not gonna stop me from attempting to still get some kills and maybe even a win in Fortnite. Highly doubt it with the win because my God, these are shit mice, but all right, let's 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 get into some games, guys. <laughs> All right, so we got Javillin in here because he is going to have to carry me to a victory. So are you, are you hey. ready? So uh, yeah, ready I'm, for carrying. I'm working with a Zelotes gaming mouse. I'm gonna show it to the webcam because I feel like they're not gonna believe me. They're gonna think I'm just faking it with my 502. There it is, definitely not a G502. It's gonna be funny, they're like, see your email, they're like, oh, someone got it. Let's go check out their channel, see if they liked it. And it's like, I try to get a win with the shittiest mouse in the world. There you go. Wow. There's somebody near me. Here he is. Oh, uh -oh. Let me get the kill. I need a kill. All right, get it. I don't have a gun yet. So yeah. Yes! Woo! Another guy on me. Fuck. I can't build. I can't build. I have no mats. Got him. Oh my god. I thought it was the mouse screwing up, but I have no mats. All right. There you go. We have got a we'll loot, we'll loot. we have got a kill with mm -mm. this shit mouse seven dollars. You just got taken out by a seven dollar mouse. Ah, oh, there's guys over here, but they're healing up. So we might be able to. I'm just going in the slipstream. Fucking get away from me! Holy shit! That was just to distract him. Oh no! Yeah, he came at me hard. Don't worry, I'm bringing me back to life. I mean. If you can, that would be glorious. Be I'm gonna really try. I'm gonna try. Oh, they're fighting. I'm just gonna I'm hang just out here. Oh, you see? They're in a fight. You might be able to throw in some snipes and they won't know where you are. Oh, dear. Here's the, here's the plan. Sneak it. There's the silent sniper. <laughs> One second left. Take, get that shotgun for me. Oh, my God. All right, where's the nearest bus? What, uh, dusty, Damn. dusty. Oh dear. Yeah, this isn't. No! <laughs> oh, there's guys over here. Not on me. I don't think they saw me. I'm, I'm trying dipping, to get up here. Uh, I'm dipping out with my baller. They're they're probably gonna be right over here. Love that gun, but I have a scar. They're right here. They're oh, on yeah. you. Knocked one. Broke his shield. Got him. Nice. I just, I didn't know what I was doing. I just had my shotgun out and just didn't touch it. Like I had stinks I could have used. I had so much stuff I could have used. And I was like, nope, don't know what to switch to. Don't know what button to hit. Just stick to the nice. shotgun. Roasted him. Oh, he's in the stream. Yep, they're coming up. Got one. Oh! Man. That trap should have gone off. No! Ugh. Trying to distract him with the baller. Do what you need to do. They fucked me. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yes. You're right. Fucking A. I couldn't get anything out. God, I'm getting pinched now. Fucking, how did he? 12 kills. 12. All right. 12 and four. Good well then. All right, guys, so we tried to get some games in with this mouse, and 
I don't want to call it horrible because really the hardest part about me using this is just because I'm used to the exact keys on the Logitech G502, so I had no button to pull out my shotgun or anything like that. I would have had a button to do that if I could have gotten the software to bind the buttons. I'd say that's the biggest downfall about getting these cheap um, Chinese mice is because it's been about three weeks since I began recording this video, as you can tell by my haircut and uh, some of the background stuff, the new sub to gravity sign, bunch of things are changing throughout this video. It's because it's been about three weeks since the beginning of it, and I still have not gotten the download from them. So I'm, I think it's safe to say that they do not uh, pay attention to that email anymore. Um, and they're not going to send me the program to bind these buttons. So you really just have two thumb buttons and this fire one does nothing. So this mouse, I guess it's for $7, it's all right. You've got two programmable buttons down here right out the box and they work really well. The one thing that sucks is the tracking on this is a little bit bad. If I slide my hand across the mouse pad really quickly, it sometimes jumps and loses track of where it's at compared to something like the G502. Um, and the G502 software is incredible to use and everything about it's incredible. And this thing is just kind of a cheap piece of shit. But for $7, I... I wouldn't say I recommend it, but if you got it, you wouldn't just not use it. It's it's okay, but that's pretty much all I have to say about it. This one's definitely better than the fucking other one over here because for some reason you can't turbo build with that one in Fortnite. This one at least allows you to turbo build. I don't know if I got a bad version of that mouse or if this one just is better, but that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. I really hope I didn't break that. I could use it for something. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.